hello friends welcome back to CAD CAM station and in today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you that how you can design a mechanical wall bracket so this tutorial is for beginners so make sure you watch this video till the end because this video tutorial is going to be very informative for you all guys who are interested in learning um, annex 12 or CAD CAM things like this I'm sharing with you guys or uh, one more information I would like to share with you guys is that um, there are number of possibilities number of ways you can uh, start your sketch from wherever you want from but in this particular uh, example I'm going to start with my choice okay and I want to keep it as simple as it is so this is it all I want to say and one more thing at the end I would like to request you to please if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button like share and hit the bell icon and write below into the comment section what you think about this video tutorial and what other video tutorials you want to see in the future your concern is motivating me to put more videos frequently for you guys so without wasting any time let's get started so as you can see we are inside the drawing area and uh, you already know that how, uh, in my previous video i have showed you that how you can get onto this position so i am continuing from onwards so while you are in, inside the drawing area select the sketch and uh, i want to select this plane you can start with any plane of your choice but in this case i am selecting this plane so i'm gonna start with creating profile instead of line because it is a continuous line so hit z or click on just profile icon over here and start from its origin drag it upward go like this just make a rough profile of of the base like this once you are done it is time to give dimension so hit D on your keyboard select it and uh, enter the dimension 19 millimeter and enter the dimension from this position as you can see in our isometric view it is 235 like this okay and uh, overall width of this is 38 and uh, also the thickness of this vertical wall is also 19 millimeter so this is what we have right now so now you can click on your keyboard x or you can click on extrude on over here so this is it select the symmetric value and as you can see the uh, the width of this uh, portion or uh, is a 90 millimeter of wide so enter the half value of 90 which is going to 45 or you can simply enter 90 divided by 2 and hit ok and this so this is your base profile now is the time to create a uh, you can as you can see in the drawing that you can create the platform or you can create um, the circle or the front mounting area the, where there is the hole so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the object like this and I'm gonna click on sketch and surface and click ok so now what I'm gonna do is as I already know that from the drawing view we can see that uh, we have uh, as you can see on your drawing the height from this position to the horizontal uh, platform or whatever you can say is 70 millimeter down from the top surface and from this uh, surface uh, it is uh, the center of the hole is 75 millimeter above that means that uh, from the center of the hole and that this top surface is 5 millimeter in distance you can see that so first of all you need to create a circle or hit O on your keyboard draw the circle and uh, enter the diameter 58 millimeter like this so from the top of this let me just hit D and from the top of this and the center of the circle is 5 millimeter above perfect now 
from this wall to the center of the circle like this it is 360 356 356 millimeter away that's it so this is our base profile now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this profile so change its orientation a little bit like this I'll click on X or extrude it under the distance as we can see from the isometric view that it is three millimeter offset from the wall so let me just change its direction first I'm gonna extrude in this direction now under the start value and enter the distance a negative three now as you can see it is uh, extended negative three now we also know that the overall length of this part is uh, 64 millimeter so we have a uh, negative 3 and 64 and uh, and the end we need to enter 61 millimeter so 61 and 3 makes it 64 and click ok like this you can also check the distance if you are confused that uh, negative 3 and 61 makes it 64 or not you can click on a measure and uh, select the point and highlight the edge in order to select the center of the circle and like this and again select the other like this as you can see under the measurement it is it is saying that it is 64 so we are correct in this way so now is the time to make another uh, sketch on this plane we have to complete this area first so click on sketch and the circles face click ok and then click o on your keyboard and draw the circle of uh, diameter 44 and uh, you can also draw one more circle of a uh, diameter 20 like this and place it the center of this circle like this so click the center of the circle and this circle center and make it vertical so that it is not moving on sides so it is vertically fixed and now we have to give the dimension from the center of this circle to this which is equals to 64 like this so now it is completely fixed now is the time to close the profile so in order to close the profile first I need to convert this sketch so to do that I'm gonna select the project curve select it select the edge of the circle and click OK now select the line draw like this and draw the line on the other side as well so hit C on your keyboard to activate the geometrical constraint dialog box select the tangent constraint and select the line and the circles edge to make it tangent do the same thing with the other side as well like this now you can drag it to make it extend hit T on your keyboard to trim command like this trim the central circle as well and this one as well so this is it now you can see by rotating now is the time to extrude it change its direction you can set the value to zero and uh, we know that the thickness of this portion is 25 millimeter enter 25 and hit enter leave it to the inferred inferred means it will automatically select whether the object is going to extrude or extrude cut it will automatically detect or work in that way so simply click ok as you can see it is uh, under the inferred it just extrude cut this feature so in this case we need to use unite or unite to make it a single body like this so he uh, when I select inferred it's uh, just uh, use this feature as an or assume that we are going to extrude cut so inferred assumes it to extrude cut rather than extrude boss so this is the difference 
so now is the time to create or to join these two different bodies to make it un uh, to make it single one so to do that in this position place it this in this position select the sketch and the face this one face and click ok so select the Z profile like this start from here up to here and uh, just wait for a second and now hit D on your keyboard give it a dimension from the top of it which is going to be 70 millimeter like this again uh, I'm gonna draw two vertical lines two parallel vertical lines like this hit C select the edge of the circle to make it tangent like this okay so again I'm going to convert the circles edge like this and click OK hit T and trim it like this and trim these lines as well this as well so so far so good I just need to trim this circle as well so trim this circle from the bottom like this well so here is the thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a circle over here whose radius is 72 and its diameter is going to be 144 like this so drag it a little bit over here drag this one up to here and uh, as you can see it is now tangent okay so hit T to trim the circle like this just place it somewhere over here because eventually we're gonna trim this out now hit L on your keyboard to activate the line command just drag it over here all the way down there so now what I'm doing is I'm gonna just snap it to this line over here so is the time to make it tangent with these two line tangent uh, oh, control Z control Z okay hit C and make it tangent like this hit T on your keyboard and trim out the circle as simple as it is drag it so as we can uh, see that it is uh, the radius over here as well so hit F on your keyboard or you can simply select fill it from here so select the fillet and enter the radius 16 millimeters select the two lines so there it is the fillet okay so it will automatically fixed if we enter the dimension from this point to this point which is equals to 57 millimeter and let's see if it still moves or not it still moves so there must be some other dimensions available on the trying so I guess from the isometric view it is just parallel these two lines are parallel like this so far so good so now is the time to join the sketch so now and the end point so I guess everything is fixed and fine rotate the view now as we can see that it is 3 millimeter offset it now it's time to extrude this feature hit X on your keyboard change the direction uh, under the inferred you can leave it as it is and let's see what will happen enter the thickness 15 millimeter of wall thickness and click OK so it is deleting it so in terms of deleting it select unite to make it a single body like this so is the time to create the first we need to join this okay so in order to join this select the edge blend and select this edge like this it is rotating downwards that means it these are a control W and uh, hide the sketches 
so we can see clearly see that it is not joined with this body in order to join these two bodies go to menu insert combine unite select the body which you want to unite with this one okay and then click ok so now it is a single body so we are good to go with the fillet or edge plant we have the 70 millimeter radius on the top select the edge like this and click apply so far so good and and the bottom we have 75 millimeter of radius so zoom out and uh, select the edge and click ok so this is what we get from here so now is the time to create the platform on this surface so select sketch and hit ok like this now select the Z profile line hit Z on your keyboard and just draw perpendicular lines okay like this and now give the dimension 16 sorry 15 millimeter like this and uh, hit C and make them concentric like this go in the upward direction select these two edges and make them horizontal and finally join them this is it so as we can see that it is 57 millimeter away from the back of this space so extrude it so 57 minus 15 this is the final length we need okay Control w and hide the sketches like this now edge blend and uh, we know that it is 64 enter the radius 64 select the edge and click ok so now we have to place a hole on this face to do that select the face and click ok and one more thing it is not simply clear to view in order to see that uh, go to edit section click <clears throat> edit click section change the plane and uh, click ok and simply you can start sketching if your view is obstructed by something else right so draw the circle of 20 millimeter place it down as well make these two circles center point vertical constraint like this hit D on your keyboard and uh, hit D on your keyboard start from a center and uh, as you can see that it is on the center of this circle 38 from its side wall so 38 and uh, from the center of the circle to the top of this it is 32 like this and from the bottom it is 25 millimeter above let me just select the center of the circle and the edge like this enter 25 so far so good now is the time to use extrude feature to eliminate or subtract the object from here like this we have selected inferred and click ok so we have automatically this holes okay now go to view and just click on this so now is the time to create hole on this face as well to do that click on sketch select the face and click ok hit o on your keyboard and start a circle from its center position and uh, which is equal to 38 select the extrude change its direction under the end value select until next 
boolean operation inferred or you can select subtract click ok so is anything else we are left with i guess we are good Control w hide the sketch or maybe you can hide the coordinate system as well so this is guys uh, this is how you can design a simple basic mechanical wall bracket inside nx12 by using a simple uh, commands of nx12 so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you enjoyed it or you get something useful information from this video then please consider subscribing liking sharing with your friends okay so this is the free knowledge i'm giving you so i hope you are uh, enjoying it so see you in the next video till then stay safe and help each other in the community so you're watching CAD Cam Station signing out for now.